In the depths of the Brazilian rainforest, the last remnants of a native tribe live in fear of the monster they call Mapinguari. Do their fireside tales describe a mythical creature or a real prehistoric survivor? Out of the lost world, a tantalizing glimpse of the largest land mammal which ever lived, the giant ground sloth. Some were bigger than elephants. All are officially extinct. But for 20 years, zoologist David Oran has been exploring the mysteries of the Amazonian rainforest. And he believes one species of ground sloth survives, a single last representative on Earth of the era of prehistoric giants. Ground sloths represent a major radiation of large-bodied mammals that lived in South America, Central America, North America, that went extinct between four and 8,000 years ago. So the possibility that a form of ground sloth might have managed to survive in the vastness of the Amazon rainforest is not at all absurd. Only small tree-dwelling sloths are known to survive today. They're common throughout South America. Slow, sleepy, nocturnal animals, even the largest reach only three feet long. Their prehistoric cousin, Arimatherium, could reach 18 feet. This creature is a symbol of our ignorance of the biodiversity of the Amazon. I think there's a general notion that a large amount is known about the distribution of life in the Amazon. In 1996, in Amazonia, scientists discovered and verified eight previously unknown bird and mammal species. If Dr. Oren's theory is correct, a surviving prehistoric giant could stay concealed in these dark and uncharted forests. There are two and a half million square miles of forest, and scientists have still to explore 60% of it. Dr. Hilton de Silva, a Brazilian biologist and anthropologist, is an expert in the biodiversity of the Amazon. He's also a colleague of Dr. Oren's. Now he and his wife will travel into the heart of the forest. His starting point, Belém, at the mouth of the three and a half thousand mile long river Amazon. Dr. De Silva is intrigued by David Oren's theory about the giant ground sloth. It may offer a scientific explanation for the stories told by tribes in the Brazilian interior. Stories of a monster they call Mapinguari. We're going to their village because they have reported the sights of strange creatures in the forest that they call Mapinguari. It seems that it could be a, a, a giant sloth or something from that family or maybe some other creature related to um, things that we have not identified yet. His destination is 1,400 miles from the mouth of the Amazon. Tomorrow, Dr. De Silva will take his wife and scientific partner, Denise, on a dangerous journey into the unknown. They seek a species which migrated all across the Americas to Florida two million years ago. The right whale was named because it turned right at the East Coast and avoided beaching itself, unlike the extinct left whale. Hey, be the ultimate expert. Watch The Ultimate Guide to Whales, Sunday at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, on the Discovery Channel. The first house Kevin and I bought wasn't much, but it was ours. And on nights when we'd relax under the stars and enjoy a good bottle of wine, it was hard to think of it as anything but perfect.
our first house. Here's to each and every day. Sutter Home. Last to know. When we got the uh, Peterson account, I was the last to know. The merger? Last to know. <laughs> hey, we got a new logo? Introducing Ship Alerts from FedEx.com. More than tracking, it can email you the moment a package has been shipped. First to know. Smith, the shipment just left Italy, and you heard it here first. Smith was transferred a month ago. Of course he was. I knew that. Be the first to know with FedEx Ship Alert. Bath time means everything to me. So I bought all kinds of stuff on my Discover card, like the sea salt, the aromas, the rubber duck. <laughs> the cashback bonus award is my favorite part of the Discover card. It pays to Discover. Couldn't do without it. Accepted where you see the Nova sign. Reliable. Secure. Worry-free. Our new cars are not only backed by a warranty package that's one of the most comprehensive in the industry, but by every person who helped make them possible. Is this a new car company? No. It's a whole new Hyundai. From the Discovery Channel and ABC News, Discovery Newsbreak. Good evening. Scientists have long wondered how water once flowed on Mars because the planet is so cold. Now a new theory. Clouds of carbon dioxide may have once reflected enough heat to warm the planet above freezing. And polar bear patrols in a small Canadian town keep bears and people away from each other. Find out more on Discovery News tomorrow night at 9 Eastern. The limestone quarries at Haley near Gainesville were the unlikely source in 1992 of an extraordinary scientific find. Dr. David Webb is professor of zoology and geology at the University of Florida. He calculates that the rocks at this ancient hillside date from the Eocene period two million years ago. Proved the last resting place of an entire family of an undiscovered species of the sloth Arimatherium, which means lonely animal. And this is one of the beautiful articulated pieces of the sloth from this site. This is one of the largest of the ground sloths, it's Arimatherium, and based on this very foot, we're convinced that it's a new species, which is just being described. Many separate groups of ground sloths actually walked on the edge of their foot, as in this front foot, so that they could clear the other claws. What's surprising, though, is this is a really early, primitive stock of ground sloths, because it still even has a big claw here on its thumb. So this is a sort of ancestral, two million year old ground sloth of one of the really large Arimathir types. Dr. David Webb's team struggled to extract a single two million year old giant ground sloth pelvis okay. from the Florida excavation site. Three. This area was just rich with all kinds of life. We actually have a, a list of about 40 species and still growing from this excavation, which isn't all that big. It's a pond, perhaps so 100 feet in diameter, which filled up at least 50 feet thick here in this hillside that we're excavating. And we get six different skeletons of virtually complete Arimatherium and beautifully preserved. <laughs> in South America, there are, more so than in North America, several notable megafaunal survivors. Uh, my favorite example being tapers that went completely extinct in North America. Jaguars were extirpated way on down into the intertropical zone. Um, there are a lot of other groups that seem to manage to survive uh, in South America, uh, even though by definition they're megafauna and might have been part of the big extinction. The survival of jaguars and tapirs offers circumstantial support for Dr. David Oren's theory, but he needs proof. And on a recent expedition to the rainforest, he found evidence. The Natural History Museum in London. Its cellars guard a genetic treasure house for scientists. Among the specimens, the pelt of a giant sloth, 11,000 years old, 
found preserved in an icy cave. From this pelt, in a pioneering piece of work, the German scientist, Dr. Matthias Huss, succeeded in extracting a full DNA sequence, a blueprint against which the droppings Dr. Oren found are conclusively compared. I extracted DNA and determined the sequence and compared it to the ground sloth sequence that we already had. And it definitely is not a ground sloth. It is not a sloth even, probably not even an anteater or an armadillo, which is like the, the wider family of the sloth. The sequences comes up close to the horse. Now this is a bit surprising, but if you know that the tapirs which live in this area are close to the horses, we suggest that this is probably comes from a, from a tapir. Only from the skin of the giant sloth and of the mammoth have scientists begun to learn some of the secrets of prehistoric DNA. Only in science fiction has anyone extracted a full DNA sequence from dinosaurs. Obviously, we'd like to have uh, positive results, but at the same time, we're certainly not completely uh, put off and uh, disappointed, and we're going to throw up our, our hands and, uh, and not continue this research because so far we haven't been able to get positive results. Because all the other evidence uh, is that there really is a, a large undescribed mammal which is highly endangered with extinction, extremely rare, and the first thing uh, to do to try to come up with a program for con conserving this animal would be to prove its existence. The rainforest is the one place that can provide the evidence Dr. Oren needs to prove that the giant sloth survives. Hilton and Denise de Silva, the Brazilian anthropologists, are nearing the goal of their 1400 mile journey into the interior. Their mission is to look for correlations between the scientific theory and the stories told by the native people of the forest. Their search begins with a greeting by the fireside. In this remote village live the last remaining members of the Kurichiana tribe. Here tales have been told for generations of the supernatural creature they call Mapinguari. To find out if Mapinguari is truly the giant ground sloth, Dr. De Silva must persuade these people to guide his expedition. But their shaman, Cezino, is reluctant. He tells of an invincible man-eater, a monster of the night, and of the cave where it lurks unseen. There is something in the cave. It does not show itself. At night, there is something very dangerous in there. Rogério shot it. He shot it, but it did not die. Bullets do not hurt it. They do not even scare it. Bullets do not even scare it. The tale of a monster which cannot be killed may conceal a solid scientific truth. For some real giant ground sloths had a secret armor, bones embedded in their skin, called dermal ossicles. One of the things that unite the ground sloths with their cousins, the armadillos, is the small gravel-like bones embedded in their skin as armoring. In the case of a ground sloth with dermal ossicles, uh, one would expect that with a shotgun, for example, the shot would hit a dermal ossicle and never make it to a vital organ. Uh, the Mopinguari supposedly can only be killed by shooting at it in the head uh, or shooting at it around the navel. Bones like pebbles embedded in their leathery hide. The armor of the Megalonychid, a species of ground sloth seven feet tall. People can reach us at three in the morning. We gotta get out of that place. And a celebrity cruise can get us out of that place. Celebrity Cruises, exceeding expectations. Awarded five stars by Fieldings and the top premium cruise line rating by Berlitz. So, you wanna see my Discover Card statement? I am definitely a shopaholic. My biggest weakness would have to be shoes. 
cashback bonus award? It really floats my boat. How many credit cards make a statement like that? It pays to discover. Some people will try anything in search of answers to the ultimate questions of life. Like, where's life taking us? And what's it all leading up to? But to find answers to these burning questions, you've got to have your feet on solid ground. Read Scientology, The Fundamentals of Thought by L. Ron Hubbard. Your search is over, but the adventure's just begun. Get your copy today. They stalk in silence, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. Join the hunt with these cold-blooded predators as Fangs continues. Tonight at 10 Eastern, 9 Central on the Discovery Channel. Homeowners, is your leaf raking, back breaking? There is a better way. The revolutionary Little Wonder High Output Power Blower will forever change the way you clean up leaves. By generating hurricane force winds of over 200 miles per hour, you'll move mountains of leaves quickly and efficiently. Our patent pending design makes the Little Wonder Blower more powerful, more reliable, easier to use and much quieter than other power blowers. You can even convert the Little Wonder Blower into a high capacity vacuum and turn those unwanted leaves into free mulch. You'll also find many other year-round uses for the Little Wonder Blower, like removing standing water, clearing debris from recreational areas, and preparing asphalt drives for resealing. The Little Wonder High Output Power Blower is backed by an industry-best five-year limited warranty. For more information on the new line of Little Wonder Blowers and the name of the dealer nearest you, call 1-800-529-9061. Megalonychid. The name means great clawed creature. Does it survive behind the forest myth of Mapinguari? A real animal companion to the jaguars and the tapirs. For the Kurichiana Indians, Mapinguari is a spirit of the untamed Amazon. They say one of their elders died because he looked it in the face. Another lived because he saw it reflected in the moonlit water. For none can look Mapinguari in the eyes and survive. Morning in the Kurichiana village. The nightmares of the darkness are left behind. Yet there is resistance as Dr. Hilton de Silva tries to persuade members of the tribe to accompany him far into the forest. There are only 186 members of the tribe left. Few want to risk a rendezvous with Mapinguari. Today, everyone is nervous because during the night they heard strange noises in the forest. Noises they recognized as the eerily distinctive call of Mapinguari, according to the hunter, Valdemiro. It sounded like a fire roaring in the trees. That's what I heard. Everyone who's, uh, who describes the vocalizations of this creature describe them as being extraordinarily loud. And we know from the fossil ground sloths that they had very large hyoid bones. Hyoid bones uh, make up part of the voice producing apparatus that fit in the neck. And it's imagined that the size is proportional to the vocalizations that would be produced. So um, with these very, very large hyoids, it's to imagine that ground sloths produced very loud vocalizations. is familiar to Dr. Oren. One afternoon in March 1994, when he was leading an expedition to the forest, he heard the cry for himself. The vocalization of this creature is uh, perfectly extraordinary. It's uh, blood curdling. I'd say it affects the part of our brain that we've inherited from the cavemen. Uh, it sounds like the roar of a waterfall, a uh, uh, jet taking off at the airport, it's just this incredible that carries for kilometers. You imagine a creature that's not 
uh, seven feet tall. You imagine a creature that's 50 feet tall and wants to have you for lunch. And only if you've placed your reputation online do you move in the direction of where the sound is coming from. If you have any self-respect, you turn around and run in the opposite direction as fast as you can because it is indeed terrifying. The cave, deep in the forest, where the Curiciana believe Mapunguari lives. Here, the hunter Valdemiro heard that terrifying cry. Here, too, he noticed that Mapinguari had an unusual way of walking, how it balanced on the sides of its feet and held its claws inwards. His description tallies exactly with anatomical analysis of how the giant ground sloths moved. And when Valdemiro draws Mapinguari's footprint in the sand, he describes exactly the same unusual anatomical feature. It's another piece of evidence for Dr. De Silva. It walks like this, with the claws held backwards. Turned inside, like this. Because I have killed the jaguar, I do not fear it anymore. I am no longer afraid. Maybe if I can shoot my pinguari, I will no longer fear it. But if I cannot shoot it, then I may die. I bought two suits of clothes with my Discover card, including a new tuxedo. Tuxedos don't make fashion statements, really. How many credit cards make a statement like that? They get out of the way of women who are making fashion statements. It pays to discover. What would make your life easier? Is it the little things? Do you need more solutions and fewer questions? Not everyone can have their own personal assistant, but at least someone can get the door for you once in a while. The 1998 Silhouette Minivan by Oldsmobile. Personal freedom, personal space, personal attention. Because no two silhouettes are alike. In the Army National Guard, you'll be challenged like never before. Trained to protect your country and serve your community. Accept the challenge. Become the best. The Army National Guard. Americans at their best. Next, check out Hollywood's new angle on things on Movie Magic. Then learn how to be subtle as a serpent on fangs and coping with the horrors of child abuse on Justice Files. Coming up only on the Discovery Channel. Explore your world. Valdemiro convinces a small group of Curiciana to overcome their fear and agrees to lead an expedition into part of the reservation they usually shun. Hilton and Denise de Silva are on their way to the heart of the creature's domain, to the cave their guides believe is the haunt of Mapinguari. The scientists are investigating the similarities between the legends of Mapinguari and the known facts about the megalonychid sloth. Seven feet tall when it rears up, invulnerable to bullets. Inward turning feet. And Dr. De Silva has made one more connection. It's thought the prehistoric sloths had a scent gland in their stomachs. The Caricciana say Mapinguari emits a foul smell, attracting insects which follow its trail through the forest. The local populations are quite intrigued when we tell them that, you know, the people in the cities don't believe that this creature exists. And they, figure, they get very wide-eyed and say, what? There are people that don't believe in the Mapinguari? Those people have never, ever been in the forest. It's not possible that they've ever been in the forest because everyone who goes in the forest knows that this creature is real. the cave which they believe is the lair of Mapinguari, the Indians enter in awe and trepidation. In the fetid atmosphere of this dark hideaway, Dr. De Silva hopes to find physical evidence of large animal life. This is the place of Mapinguari. 
O que, que tinha aqui? Sim, tinha aqui a... It used to live here. The villagers believe this is where Mapinguari feasts upon its human prey. Frustratingly close to the heart of the mystery, the scientists explore every corner until finally, deep inside the cave, they find the physical evidence they seek. This is the babacu nut which it eats. It chews the nuts, just as we do. This is its favorite food. But it also eats people and animals. Babacu nuts are a staple for large animals throughout Amazonia. Dr. De Silva carefully puts these in an evidence bag for safekeeping, his only trophy from the expedition. But Dr. De Silva now believes that Mapinguari has a real existence outside the imaginations of the Curiciana. I, I think that there is something out there that we need to investigate more and find out what it is. Including insects, there are thought to be 30 million animal species living in the rainforest. But the warmth and humidity here devour scientific clues. Even bones rapidly decay and disappear. Still, the next expedition, or the one after that, may bring back the evidence zoology needs. The evidence of animal remains which can one day prove that the giant ground sloth lives on in Brazil, 8,000 years after its apparent extinction. Evidence of skin or hair or droppings from which scientists can extract DNA. Enough DNA to make a match to the ancient sloth skin found in a cave in Chile in the year 1898, which now waits in the cellars of the Natural History Museum in London. I have every confidence that there is indeed a very large mammal that's very rare and that has not yet been described to science. And I have every confidence that evidence will come to light that proves the existence of a large undescribed mammal. We've had the opportunity to hear some sounds at night that the Caritiana describe as being the sounds of the creature. Um, so it, I now think that there is really some animal in there that we have not identified yet. a three-year war that seemed to have no end remembering the forgotten war experience the stories of the american soldier our time in hell the korean war on discovery sunday only on the discovery channel <laughs> 